Hello everybody, Jay Godwise here. This is lesson number 51. Dream big. I mean, they're your dreams. Why would you make your dreams small? I don't think most of us understand. When you grew up, when you were born, a little infant, the first programming you've ever had was as a little infant, as a little child. The first few years of your life, you were helpless, you had to be fed, you had to have your nose wiped, your butt wiped, everything. We don't really overcome that. We have this basic idea that we're small, weak, vulnerable, and other people have to take care of us. That almost makes us subconsciously programmed in us from the earliest time to not think big, to not have ideas about what we need to do. So you need to start to overcome that uh, inferiority complex as a, as a one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, first grader, second grader, and start dreaming big. Like I said, they're your dreams. Why wouldn't you make your dreams big as can be? If your dreams are huge, say there you want to, like the old saying, if you want to go reach the stars, you might hit the moon. You won't end up with a handful of mud. If you have your, if you make your dreams very small, you might not fail a lot, but you won't accomplish a lot. You should make your dreams so big that you probably will fail. But in failing, you'll accomplish more than if your dreams are little and tiny. Remember, you have to now reprogram yourself. Quit playing around. You have to reprogram yourself and think about how you have to grow. Um, you can't have limits. Don't put limits in yourself. Limits are figments of your imagination. And most of your imagination in your life has been used to stalemate you, to stymie you, to hold you back. You know, whether you were afraid to cross the street, whether you're afraid to climb the tall ladder, whether you're afraid to go to the top rung of the monkey bars and swing on it because you might get hurt. Those were, that was a great deal of our programming. But now that you're an adult or now that you're getting older, start dreaming big. There's, somebody's going to be the valedictorian. Might as well be you. Somebody's going to be the star of the football team. Might as well be you. Someone's going to win the state title. Somebody's going to do it. It might as well be you. So these are all examples. Most people have like a built-in limiter. They, they think, oh, I only, I, am only, I'm only, I only deserve this much. I don't deserve more than this. They have a built-in rev limiter where they're only allowed to get so far. A lot of people are afraid to even say they want something big. Um, when I was coaching wrestling, I still do, I had all of my kids go down to where the state finals are held and I held them, I held up their hands like they'd already won the state finals. These kids looked at me like, oh wow, they did accomplish more than they ever thought they could have. Start dreaming big, okay? You, um, I, I have a saying that I think I invented. It says, how can you expect to win if you don't expect to win? Have big dreams first, but, and even if that doesn't happen right off the bat, even if you think, oh, I have this big dream, I'll never accomplish it, at least acknowledging that you want something big, that you want something out of your grasp, is the first step to now then, well, how do then I achieve this? But if you never even say I want something big, something that I am presently unable to attain, then you'll never grow. You know, there's an old saying, if you find a reason to do something, you'll find a way. So if you have a, a desire, then you figure out a way. You know, it's not that you figure out a way to do something and then you adjust with your wants. You figure out what you want and then you will figure out a way to do it. Um, so, you know, say that out loud, acknowledge it, understand it. You know, a giant oak tree had to eventually stop thinking like a little acorn before it became a tree. A lion had to stop thinking like a little kitten. Um, uh, mature people have dreams and goals, and they think about them, and then they want to accomplish it. Children, you know, they may say, I want to be a cowboy. That's the first start. People squish that. But start thinking about, you know, don't put those limits on yourself. All limits are self-imposed. Limits are figments of your imagination. So I want to, I want to, they're your dreams. I mean, a dream, they're your dreams. Why would you make them small? Dream big. All right? Any thoughts? Any questions? No, no. None? God, you guys don't have any questions. All right. Hope this helps somebody. Hope, um, I wish somebody had told me this when I was little. Take care.